Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this lesson, I show you step by step how to write an IELTS complaint letter. These come up regularly in General Writing Task 1, so you need to know how to plan and write them. Here's what the lesson includes. The question structure, the letter structure, formal or informal, how to tell the difference, the greeting and sign off, how to generate ideas, and the lesson also includes two sample letters. First, the structure of the question. All questions for IELTS letters have the same structure. They're made up of three parts. Part one is the topic, part two, the person you must write to, and part three, what you should write about, listed as three bullet points. And here's a sample question for a letter of complaint with the three parts illustrated. I'll read the question for you first. There is a problem with the changing rooms in the sports centre that you visit. You have complained several times but with no success. Write a letter to the manager of the sports centre. In your letter, describe what the problem with the changing rooms is, say what happened the last time you complained, and explain what you want the manager to do. The first sentence gives a topic of the question, which is a problem with the changing rooms in the sports centre. The second sentence tells you who you should write the letter to. In this case, the manager of the sports centre. The three bullet points tell you what you should write about. First, describe what the problem with the changing rooms is. Next, Say what happened last time you complained and then explain what you want the manager to do. Understanding this will help you to quickly analyse the question and plan your answer. To help you plan, use the letter structure I'm about to show you. For a full lesson on planning, study my lesson on how to plan IELTS letters. I've put a link to it in the notes below this video. The layout of your letter of complaint should follow the structure of the question and consist of four paragraphs with a greeting at the beginning and a sign-off at the end. Use this easy to remember six-part structure. Start with the greeting which will be Dear, whoever you're writing to. In paragraph one state the purpose of the letter, that is, your reason for writing. In paragraph two write about the first bullet point. In paragraph three, write about the second bullet point. And in paragraph four, write about the third bullet point. And finally, sign off your letter. All you need to do to create your plan is to add in the details from the question, like this. The person we are writing to is the manager, so this is who we'll address in our greeting. Paragraph one, is the reason or purpose for writing, which is to complain about the sports centre changing rooms. Paragraph two will be about bullet point one, where we'll describe the problem with the changing rooms. And paragraph three will be about bullet point two, where we'll state what happened the last times we complained. And paragraph four will be about the third bullet point, where we'll explain what we want the manager to do about the problem. And finally, we'll sign off the letter. Your letter must be written in the appropriate tone and style. There are two options, formal to someone you don't know or don't know well, and informal to a friend or close family member. It's essential that you're able to identify what type of question you're required to write. Follow this general rule. If the question includes the word friend, use informal language. If the question does not include the word friend, use formal language. A complaint letter will almost always be addressed to someone you don't know and will thus be a formal letter. So this is what we'll focus on for the rest of the lesson. Two parts of the letter that require very specific formal language are the greeting at the beginning and the sign off at the end. So we'll begin with these. There are two ways you can begin your formal letter of complaint. Use Dear Sir or Madam 
if you don't know the name of the person you are writing to. Or use dear and surname if you do know their name. For example, dear Mr Smith or dear Mrs Jones. It's very likely that you would not know the name of someone you were making a complaint to. But if you want to use a surname, just make one up. The greeting you use will determine how you sign off your letter. For a formal letter, there are two main options. The correct one would depend on who you're addressing. If you do know the name of the person and you've written, for example, Dear Mrs Jones, Sign off with yours sincerely. If you do not know the name of the person and you've written, for example, Dear Sir or Madam, sign off with yours faithfully. Always sign off a formal letter with your full name, for example, Jackie Spear. For our sample letter, we'll use this greeting and sign off. Dear Sir or Madam, yours faithfully, Jackie Spear. We're now ready to think up some ideas to write about. We have the guidelines of the three bullet points to help us, so this won't be difficult. You're only required to write 150 words, so you won't need many ideas. Just make sure that you write about each bullet point and develop each idea fully. The ideas don't have to be the best ones you can think of. Go with your first thoughts and don't waste time trying to think up better ideas. However, it's essential that the ideas are directly related to the bullet points. Note them beside each bullet point on the exam paper, like this. For describe the problem with the changing rooms, I've noted down, the toilets are dirty. For what happened the last times you complained, I've written, promised the problem would be addressed. And for explain what you want the manager to do, I've jotted down, wrote a list for staff to check every hour and sign. That's our planning completed. Once you've had some practice, you'll be able to do this in just a few minutes. Taking time to plan will make writing your IELTS complaint letter far quicker and easier than if you don't do this step. You'll also write a better letter and get higher marks. Now we're going to write our letter. Here's our plan again, with all our notes added. Pause the video if you want to spend a few minutes studying it. We've already decided on the greeting, so we'll begin writing with paragraph 1. In the first paragraph, you must state the reason for writing the letter, that is, its purpose, which in this case is to complain about the sports centre changing rooms. Many students make the mistake of missing this purpose sentence out, but it's very important. Including it will gain you marks. It only requires one sentence. Here are four different phrases we could use to start a complaint letter. I am very unhappy about or with. I am writing to complain about. I am extremely dissatisfied with or about. I write to express my disappointment. This is how we'll start our letter. I am writing to complain about the state of the toilets in the sports centre changing rooms. Here's a top vocabulary tip. Do not use contractions in formal letters. They are informal language. So do not write, I'm writing to complain. In the second paragraph, you write about bullet point one, which is Describe the problem with the changing rooms. My idea for this was that the toilets are dirty. Remember to keep the language formal for this question. Aim for around 50 words for each of paragraphs 2, 3 and 4. You could write something like this. Each time I have used the changing facilities in the past month, the toilet area has been dirty. Particularly unpleasant are the soggy paper towels on the floor. They look horrible and there is a danger that people could slip on them. The shower plug holes are also frequently blocked up with hair, which stops the water draining away. The third paragraph should cover the second bullet point, which is what happened the last times you complained. My idea for this was that they promised the problem would be addressed. 
and you could write something like this for the paragraph. I have reported this issue on two previous occasions. The first time I told a member of staff and the second time I telephoned. Both the people I spoke to said that they would make sure that the changing rooms were cleaned more often, but this is clearly not happening. Paragraph 4 addresses the third bullet point, which is, explain what you want the manager to do. My idea for this was a rotor list for staff to check every hour and sign. And here's the idea developed into a paragraph. As a solution, I suggest that you set up an hourly rotor where a member of staff has to check that the toilets are clean, sign to say that they have done so, and arrange for a cleaner to come if necessary. I have seen this system in operation in other places, and their toilets are always clean. Now we just need to add the sign-off we decided on earlier, and our letter is complete. Here's our finished letter of complaint. Pause the video and read through it. Note how all the elements come together, and the ideas flow from one to the next. This is what you're aiming for in your letter. To get some practice writing a letter of complaint, write a letter for the question on this slide. Use the planning structure I've shown you to plan before you start writing. You live in a room in college which you share with another student. There are many problems with this arrangement and you find it difficult to work. Write a letter to the accommodation officer at the college. In the letter, describe the situation, explain the problems and why it is difficult to work, and say how you would like the situation resolved. Here's a sample letter for this practice question. You'll find lessons on other common IELTS topics on the website and my YouTube channel. I've put a link to the IELTS writing menu page where you'll find all the lessons in the notes below this video. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye for now.